one washer is not as heavy as 10 washers. So how can a single washer be used to lift 10 washers? Sounds impossible, but the answer is centripetal force. Centripetal force? What's that? You are going to see for yourself. Check this out. Dr. Smith has one washer in one hand and 10 washers in the other. He is first going to put a string through a short PVC tube that has a very smooth top. He then ties 10 washers to one end of a roughly six foot length of string and ties the other end of the string to a single washer. Dr. Smith is now swinging the single washer in a circle over his head. Centripetal force is the force that keeps the single washer moving in a circle. However, the centripetal force is not enough to lift the 10 washers off the ground. Dr. Smith is swinging the single washer too slowly. Centripetal force increases when the speed of the object moving in the circle increases. So Dr. Smith swings the single washer even faster until the centripetal force exceeds the weight of the 10 washers and lifts the 10 washers off the ground. When the 10 washers remain at a constant height off the ground, the centripetal force exactly matches the weight of the 10 washers. Notice when the single washer being swung in a circle has a large circular path, in other words, the diameter of the circle is large, the single washer only needs to move at a slower speed to achieve a centripetal force equal to the weight of the 10 washers. When the circular path is made small, a faster speed is necessary to achieve a centripetal force equal to the weight of the 10 washers. That's pretty cool. Regardless of the size of the circle, the centripetal force always equals the weight of the 10 washers. The speed of the swung washer just needs to be made larger for smaller circles. The centripetal force is the tension in the string, and this tension is constantly pulling on the single washer, keeping it moving in a circle, and at the same time pulling on the 10 washers, lifting them off the ground. Centripetal force is always directed toward the center of the circle. Centripetal force is toward the center of the circle? What are you talking about? Don't believe me? Check this out. 